What is up, risk takers? Welcome to the Kill Pete strategy. I am Pete. I am a top 10 player playing Risk Global Domination on PC. I have a daily release schedule on YouTube. Uh, Fridays is the fixed game, Wednesdays is the podcast style interview show, and every other day is whatever I feel like. If you are interested in getting better at the game of Risk, I invite you to subscribe to my channel. Come along the ride with me, and today we are playing on the General Stream. The General is a Twitch streamer and YouTuber. I'm going to link to his show in the show notes. Uh, we're playing a six-player progressive game on the brand new Canada Advance map. Canada Advance is, I think, 91 territories. Let me just confirm that quickly. 15, 15, 14, 15, 14, 15 is 83. Is that the number? 83 territories, and this isn't Canada Advanced, this is Europe Advanced, that's why I had it mixed up. So we're playing on the Europe Advanced map. I'm white, and I'm in the fifth position. In the first position, we have Destiny Warp, from the United States of America, with a brand new account. In the second position, we have Jay Gozo, from Finland. And 66 hours played with 28 wins and 89 losses. In the third position, we have our host, The General. Check him out on Twitch and YouTube, Generals HQ VCC. From Canada, 594 hours with 130 wins and 183 losses. In the fourth position, we have The Finale Countdown 1. From the United States of America, 69 hours played with 17 wins and 16 losses. We're waiting to see where General goes now. It looks like he's thinking, thinking, thinking. Settings on this round are 90 second turns. So you get a bit more time to think. I am also, you get a bit more time to capture those large maps in the late game. This is uh, the main Pete account. Kill Pete Strategy VCC on Twitch and YouTube, 1184 hours played with 1711 wins and 645 losses. General takes uh, the 4 for 4 Balkan continent in Southeastern Europe. The final countdown, fourth player, goes in the middle. Our final opponent is MC Death, also from Canada, 146 hours played with 24 wins and 85 losses, and he breaks the General's Continent. Okay, I'm second to last, I get six troops, I'm going to go for the Snowball strategy, but I need to find a part of the board that is as inoffensive as possible, and I think I found my run here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to push this way, leaving those two... Um, Territories open, so I'm not going to offend, and I can roll six on two, so I'm not going to offend um, as many people as I can until it's too late. I'm currently holding 17 territories across the bottom of this map, but I'm not holding any continents, so it should disincentivize anyone from pushing into me to try and break. I'm going to consult those two troops in the middle. Let me move to the last player, MC Death. Okay, where does where does Magenta go? Looks like MC Death is doing some action in Scandinavia and Russia. Looks good. Let's take a quick look at how the continents break down, shall we? So, you got a lot of little continents. You got West Africa worth plus six, North Africa worth plus three, Orient worth plus six, Russian Empire worth plus seven, Eastern Europe here worth plus eight, Scandinavia is three, Iceland is a three for two, British Empire is worth three, uh, Spain and Portugal worth four. France is worth four. Italy and Switzerland are worth four. Um, former Austrian Empire is worth four. Southeastern Europe worth four. And Central Europe is worth plus five. Destiny War pulling out of the corner. Gonna be doing all right. Taking England. It doesn't finish. This is one of Pure Two Threatening. Okay. Blue player is going to push it to me. No, they're going to escape Africa. Good. Good. That'll give me a solid line to take most of North Africa, if not all. And hopefully establish stable borders with blue. And he doesn't finish the continent, which is just what I wanted. 
Yeah, you get the oops. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to and 5, but I'm not going to take that on purpose. And then I'm not going to, I'm not going to guard here, I'm going to guard there. We move to the general second turn because we're playing progressive, right? And I want this end of the map. I, I think the African play on this map makes a lot of sense, but we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it shakes out. John likes to think and plan his moves. I should be listening to him talk, but because I have to talk, we can't do both at the same time. Yeah, I already have my next turn plan. I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, hopefully, and get this string of territories. And any stack that remains will go there. Currently holding 17, so I'll put in 5 troops, which isn't really enough to take 5, and 8, eight troops stack won't really do it. But I'm specifically not finishing continents. So that I don't appear threatening, and I don't trigger my opponents to break me. Is that a 3 for 4, that continent? Yeah, Denark Alps, 3 for 4. In the middle of this board. I don't like the middle. These continents are valuable. Maybe he can hold them. But he's going to be right next to the General's continent. Let's show Black why you wouldn't just leave a two stack. What are the odds? 37%? Oh, and I break his continent. Too bad. Now I have to remove him from this position. Do I finish? I think the answer is no. I think the answer is no on purpose. I want Blue and I to be good buddies. So I don't want to militarize this border. I'll let Blue take their continent first. It's worth a plus six as well. I don't want to trigger anyone to rush into me until it's too late. I like this board a lot. I'm cool with the 90 seconds until they give us our speed back. Capture this board in 90 seconds. All right, so the magenta player takes Scandinavia, and black will finish Britain and Iceland now, but I managed to break their continent because they weren't guarding, and they left that two stack there for some reason that eludes me. And now we'll have our black versus magenta battle, we hope. Figure blue takes Galicia and hopefully guards here, not here. No, they don't trust me. Okay. Too bad. So what do I do in that circumstance? Do I finish and guard? Or do I finish and not guard at all? I think what I do is I, I leave the exact number. Let him break me. The other school of thought would maybe be to attack that way. It's tricky, right? Because I seem set up to be natural enemies with blue, so my other inclination would just be to push into them as hard as I can before they get too powerful. What's that continent worth? A plus four? That actually might be the correct play, too. I don't usually like to default to breaking my opponent's continents. But it might be correct in this situation. I'm 
gonna go with my original plan. Not seem too threatening. I'm gonna guard with the exact number. Let him escalate the Cold War, not me. Try and make friends where we could otherwise be enemies. Keep the exact numbers on my borders that he has. No more. I'll put the stack on the other end. Let's see if that message was received. That is an odd decision, right? It seems obvious that I'd be going that way. Why would you add any troops there? This seems like a great corner. I mean, blue would... I, I'm pre still predicting blue breaks me, but this is a, a valuable data point to learn about this man. If I do ever play them again. 66 hours from Finland. Okay. We'll see how you do. Do you know how to be a good neighbor or not? We're going to find out. Eight troops. How many go there? Does it say low trust or a high trust play? Two go there. Six go there. That gets a thanks from me. He feels it. He feels the love. All right, all right. This is going to work out well for us. Good, and he backs off. I love it. I love a successful negotiation. Okay. Now I can go elsewhere. I'm going to go boom, boom, and guard that with a three stack as well. And I'll be sitting at the end of Egypt. That seems like a good structure I'm building. Final countdown gets plus eight. Imagine us put some in the middle. I don't like their position at all because they're kind of surrounded. I, I'm really happy to take an edge. Final Countdown still thinking about what to do on their turn. Do 
do they take Italy? Yeah, that gets broken. So I am guarding the general with an equal stack. I have a seven stack here. I don't expect to get pushed into by blue, but it could always happen. And this is the issue, because I didn't let orange have a second continent, so. still buddies with blue. It's good to have an ally. All there. Takes France. Almost takes France. There you go, General. General breaks me. Yeah, really risky move for the general. Roll five on three? Hmm, let's see if that works. Or is he just guarding? Thank <laughs> you. 
So I take the general's two exterior positions out and I weaken his guard. And his last remaining territory is down to 15 troops and he's surrounded, holding five cards. But blue and black can't really get to him in time, so general is going to match in. But he's going to get the 8, which isn't that great of a match. So being surrounded and now locked in a single position, him striking at me, I can hit this guy a lot harder than he can hit me, right? So that was the... That was the quid pro quo, basically. I'm very happy with my positioning so far. Maybe black starts a war with blue. More than one person has to run into me right now in order for me to lose, right? I'm, I'm occupying almost the entire bottom of the board, so. And I still have exclaves. Maybe not for too, too much longer. I think it's going to make sense to remove black from this piece now. We still buddies blue. Blue's in two spots. I don't need to actually fight them, but I can take black out of here. Blue matches and gets the six. Nice. Takes the continent, but leaves. No, he breaks this too, right? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, okay, so that, that is the play of someone who obviously has never played with me before. If you were going to hit me, you would need to continue to hit me. Don't leave me with a plus six, right? I like Magenta's positioning better than mine now. Magenta holding 17 territories and 47 troops, and they're going to get the big match. section entirely. And now we wait. We're not expecting to hold any of these bonuses, so now we wait and see when we get our next match. Hmm. Get the match on three. Okay. Jazz gets the 15, which means I can have the 20. Let's see who breaks me. 
because my opponent shouldn't let me hold these continents. But if left alone, Magenta wins this game. So, they also kind of bring me at their own peril. Yeah, Magenta can continue to learn. Yeah, sure. I would expect if blue doesn't get there, that orange will. Hmm. Black puts in the 20, which means I get the 25. We're getting close to being in a place where we can kill the general. Oh, we're getting close to a place where we can kill blue. But black's doing it for me. All right, blue's dead. They're also going to keep going. Keep going, push into here. Leave me with no bonus. It's a good thing I got cards, also I'd be totally dead, but I don't think I can win. Alright, yeah, surprisingly black doesn't completely shit in my sandwich. What do we do about this? Oh, General's got cards. General puts in a 25. Everyone's getting matched on 3, eh? How nice is that? Let's see what he does. What am I getting? A 30? Wow. Pretty good. And the 30 match on turn 7. Yeah. All right, countdown breaks me here. I completely eviscerate Magenta. I like sending this type of message to people, so you fuck with me and I fuck with you. Problem is, I have two, at least two turns away from holding any new cards. So I got this 20 stack up to the side. Magenta's gonna break that back. Mm -hmm. I have a kind of ring around the outside of this board. See if I've been able to establish any sort of stability with black. It all comes down to who decides to come at me now. Magenta's holding four cards. So they're likely to match. So they'll get the 35. Orange gets the 40 or some combination of those two. Is that six stack going? Is that going into me? Is that going into general? You need a bit more troops than six to push that way. Yeah, it's gonna break. Sure. 
Why wouldn't you break me here too, though, is the question. Did that connect to that? Is that what I just saw? Lebanon connects to Ankara? That seems like a pathing break. We should confirm that, because that looks like the map is fucked. in trouble. Why aren't you going to take Magenta? Yeah, get those four cards matched in. Okay. Why aren't you going to have just enough time to do it, too? And then we'll see what happens. Because I think this is the key moment to match. Has enough time because the 90 second clock does a split here. So far, the two guys have broken your dead. Let's see if black goes next or if I do. Or holding five cards, putting in the 40. Where do those 40 go? General's now looking surrounded, also holding 69 troops. So yeah, do those actually connect? They do. That's okay, so the map is broken. orange at all. Orange in a very strong lead. Alright, Black's going to try and do something about that. Yeah, I gotta wait one, probably two more turns before I got cards, so how do I survive that long? I don't think I can. Should have put some troops here and gone pop, 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 right? Break those two bonuses. General playing real passive. Hang out in the middle of the board. If you guys know anything about me, I prefer a bit more of an active game. Oof, 17. That's going to go either one way or, or maybe even both. No, he's going for the general. Trying to get that kill on the general. He gets it, he matches in. And then orange wins easy. He 
He's got it. What does he do with the rest of his clock? Removes me from this section? Yeah, I'm, I'm a distant third. I come in third. I like this map. I'm still trying to figure out where the the right positions are. It doesn't seem to be anywhere to hide. Oh, Orange is actually trying to kill me. He's going to leave some of me left, then. He's going to leave the teeniest, tiniest part of me left. Feed me to black. That's dumb. Hmm. Oh, he's gonna guard it like that, right. Right, 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 right. Even if I have a match on three, I get eaten before my next turn. Black gets me like this. Yeah, orange went a little too hard on me. No, black, no, 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 you gotta finish. No, black, no. Oh, he's gonna go around. Right, he's gonna go around. That still works. Good. And that's the game. I think black can win now. Because he's getting the match, he's getting the attacker's advantage. He's gonna knock off most of the eastern half of this board. Destiny War. Oh, he can get the kill. He does his pathing right. He can get the kill. Yeah, gets it this turn. GG Destiny War. Well done. Uh, Orange overextended a bit trying to push into me. Didn't account for this happening. So there you are. I hope you guys enjoyed this game. Yeah, man. I hope you guys had fun, maybe learned a little something or two. If you're interested in getting better at the game of Risk, I invite you to subscribe to my channel and come along this ride with me. I do a fixed game on Fridays. I do the podcast on Wednesdays, and every other day is whatever I feel like. And until next time, for all of you on the path to world domination, good games and good luck.